parents, if you have teenagers, this is a story you want to pay close attention to. Some Alabama lawmakers are eyeing tougher penalties for teenagers who violate the state's graduated license law, and they want to fine their parents. CBS 42 News reporter Mike McClanahan is covering this story for us. And Mike, you talked to the widow of a deputy whose death inspired this bill. Young drivers face restrictions in Alabama until they turn 18. Whether or not they agree with those restrictions, state lawmakers want to put more teeth in the rules. The story of an Elmore County deputy's death will shed some light on why. Charlotte Hart says her husband. He was my rock. Elmore County Sheriff's Deputy James Bart Hart was killed last year when a teenage driver ran into his vehicle. Lawmakers say the teen was driving nearly 100 miles an hour and that the 16-year-old driver and two of the three passengers in his car were also killed in the wreck. According to lawmakers, the teen was not in compliance with the state's graduated license law. When Charlotte Hart researched that law, she says she was shocked to learn there are basically no penalties. And so that's what we're trying to do is to revise the penalties to make them um, a little stiffer so the parents and the teenagers will listen and you know understand you know what can happen and why this law why we're trying to do this. Senator Clyde Chambliss is sponsoring SB 173, the Deputy Heart Act. It would create $500 fines for parents of teens who violate the stage 1 or stage 2 license laws and it also has a penalty that he thinks will get the teens attention. Is if they violate this law and they're ticketed for it, they would go from a uh, driver's license back to a permit for six months. That will that should get their attention. That this is serious. Charlotte Hart says it's about saving lives, like her husband's. Because if this law, if there were penalties for this law, I really believe the wreck that happened would um, would not have been. Final approval from the state senate. The bill's sponsors are hopeful the legislation will pass this year. Reporting in Montgomery, Mike McClanahan, CBS 42 News. We do have more information about the details of that legislation on our website right now at WIAT.com, as well as the rules for drivers under the age of 18 right now.